Coming up in this FinCast, beautiful video and information on the rarest tang in the hobby. Some people call this the Holy Grail. When my husband puts the cami pier into his tanks, it gets really clear. I mean, usually it's really, really yellow, and then after he puts it, it looks really clear. It's awesome. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast, and today I have a real treat for you. We're going to take a look at the Zebra Tang. Now this is a fish that you probably will never get a chance to see in person. It's actually that rare, and uh, it's very expensive as well, so very few people will ever have one. So I actually saw this fish in a display aquarium at a trade show. It was MACNA 2017, and today we're going to take an in-depth look and some really beautiful video that I think I captured of the zebra tang. The zebra tang looks like the much more common convict tang, but it has more stripes and then what Quality Marine calls tribal markings on its face. They're amazing. Maybe that's what makes this fish so compelling. Now, if you're like me, you probably already want one, but it'll take a lot of money and some patience. Most wholesalers only get a few per year, as near as I can figure. That's according to their websites and some forum posts. It's hard to nail down a price for one of these, but it seems like about $1,000 to $5,000 is the going rate, depending upon the size. Again, that's if you can find one. Marine Depot has a post that says that this fish was actually discovered and named in 1868. So it's not like it was just discovered, and it kind of makes you wonder why we haven't seen more of them in the hobby. Now, sometimes with rare fish and even corals, it's, it's a case of there not being many fish at all in the wild. And then sometimes it's the fact that the fish just live in areas where it's too expensive to collect them because they reside in remote areas and it's too far by boat to make it worth it for the collectors. Or maybe they're in dangerous areas. One website even mentioned pirates. Uh, that was in terms of collecting fish in general, not specifically the zebra tang. Anyway, this tang lives in the waters off Mauritius and also Madagascar. And that, by the way, is the same region where the almost as rare, beautiful, and expensive gem tang is collected. Now, most of the posts about this fish on the internet date back to 2013. That seems to be when the fish went from being a fish that you only saw in books to something that was actually available. Now, according to Jake Adams at ReefBuilders.com, uh, he says that at the time, again, talking 2013, there were only 10 known zebra tangs in captivity anywhere. I'll post a link to his article in the description of this video. Now, I haven't done an exhaustive search for videos of this fish, but I can tell you that most of the posts I've seen have kind of just shown a single specimen swimming in a small tank by itself, or maybe even a large tank by itself, but you couldn't really see it interacting well with its environment. Now, this gorgeous aquarium with corals, amazing rock work and lighting, as well as other fish, really in my mind showcases the possibilities with the zebra tank I think and I think that's what caught my eye. This aquarium was set up at MACNA 2017 and I'm sorry I can't remember the name of the company that had it on display although it may have been Ecotech Marine but uh, don't hold me to that. Meanwhile the folks who have some experience with the zebra tank say that Keeping the fish is similar to other tanks. They like standard reef water parameters. They're omnivores who need some algae and a bit of meat, such as P.E. mysis. And they do say that they're smaller than many other tank species, topping out at about five inches. Uh, it is said that they can be aggressive like other surgeon fish. I didn't find that piece of information very helpful. For instance, Sohal tangs are very aggressive. Uh, they chased all my fish around my aquarium for years, while my blue, yellow sailfin tangs are relatively peaceful and, and get along just fine. Now, if anyone knows which end of the scale that the zebra tang lands in, let me know, let everybody know in the comments section down below. Either way, probably as expensive as this fish is, it might be best if it was the only tang in your system. By the way, if you have one, please post in the comment section. I'm sure everybody would love to hear about your experience with this fish. Isn't that a beautiful fish? 
just amazing and I love the tribal markings on the face. Let me show you some more video while I remind you to subscribe to FinCasters. Please check out also the FinCasters Facebook page and join the FinCasters discussion group where you can post pictures and videos of your aquarium, start a conversation about the convict tang or anything else aquarium related that comes to mind. There is a FinCasters Instagram page as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next FinCast.